And then one day, two of my caregivers were talking about Jesus. And the very mention of his names caused the, the demons to shudder and lunge out in guttural violence. Oh, I knew he had something of power that frightened them. I begged to be taken to him. But I remember very little of the journey. I've been told I was kicking and clawing and scratching and fighting. All I remember was the pain in every fiber of my body and the screams louder and louder, choking out all other sound. I was deaf by the time I was unchained and dropped at his feet. And it was broad daylight, but I could only make out moving shadows of people. But there was light coming from him, from his feet, from his hands, from his, his eyes. Oh, his eyes. <laughs> Brilliant beacons shining down past my bruised and broken body into my poor, sin-infested soul with love. I felt love, pure as spring water gushing from him as he reached out to touch me. <laughs> the sudden rush of colors, sound, and flowers. I was dizzy. I, I was trying to find something stable and I looked again into his eyes. I was caught, held in the security of truth shining from him. As he said my name, Mary. <gasps> I began to take deep breaths. <laughs> they were gone. They were gone. I, I, I was free. I was free to walk in the newness of this day. I was free. This man, this man had done what I thought only God could do. Save me. I didn't know who he was. I only knew that every bite of food I tasted, every color I saw, every vibrant sound I heard or song I sang in freedom was from him. And I could find no words to thank him. <laughs> what would I say? I only knew that he would be my master. And I would follow him wherever he led. Whatever life I had from that moment, I gave him. <laughs>